hi and welcome back to my youtube channel this is farm girl angie and you're welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to talk about how to mix chicken feed correctly so then i'm going to talk about the amount of soya beans and other the other ingredients that will be needed to make correct feed so let's get right into today's video So the basic thing to note is that proteins are very important in the diet of chickens and that almost everything that we are going to do today we are going to give credit to the protein so we are going to move on to the two types of or the two groups of feed that make up a chicken's feed so we have the cereals that is maize and maize bran and then we have the protein mix that are high in proteins and that is soya beans and then fish meal we are going to learn how to calculate the amount of each of these ingredients that will be needed to make chickens feed for starters growers and then for layers so we are going to use the Pearson square so this is I'm going to put the Pearson square right here so with the Pearson square you have to know the total amount of protein that each bird is going to consume so we have this protein called the DCP that is the digestible crude protein so the digestible crude protein refers to the amount of protein that is actually absorbed and used by the chicken so the DCP for starters is 20 percent the DCP for growers is 18 percent and the DCP for layers is 16 percent so based on these DCPs we are going to calculate the amount of each ingredient namely maize maize bran soya beans and then fish meal that will be needed to make feed for starters growers and layers so let's get into it so the digestible crude protein, protein that is the dcp of the cereals maize is 8.23 percent and then that of maize bran is seven percent and then for the protein feed those are high in protein the dcp of Soya beans is 45%, while the DCP of fish meal is 55%. So for the portions that will be used, you can decide on how many portions of each to use, depending on the price of the feed. So assuming maize is cheaper as compared to maize bran, you can use more, or the ratio in which you add them, you can use a higher ratio of maize to maize bran. And then for the fish meal and soya beans, you can also decide to use a higher ratio of soya beans to fish depending on the price so that you can lower your cost for the purpose of this video we are going to make feed that contains three parts maize and then one part maize bran and then also that contains one part fish meal and then two parts soya beans so let's get right into it so in order for the piercing square to work we have to find the weighted means for the two different types of feed which is the cereals and then the protein feed. So for the cereals, the weighted mean of maize is going to be the portion of maize times the DCP of maize, which is going to be three times 8.23, which is going to give us 24.69. And the weighted mean for maize bran is going to be the portions of maize bran times the DCP of maize bran, which is going to be one times seven, which will give us seven. So the total weighted mean for the cereals is going to give us 24.69 plus 7, which will give us 31.69. So to find the weighted mean for the cereals, so we are going to divide it by the total ratio for the maize and then the maize bran, which is 3 plus 1, giving us 4. So it is going to be 31.69 divided by 4, which will give us 7.9. So, to find the weighted means for the protein mix, we are going to do the same thing we did before. That is, we are going to multiply the portions of fish meal by the DCP of fish meal, which is going to give us 2 times 55%, which is going to give us 110%. And then we're going to multiply the portions of soya beans by the DCP of soya beans, which is going to give us 1 times 45%, which is going to give us 45%, giving a total of 110% plus 45%, which is equal to 155%. So to find the weighted mean divided by the total ratio, which is 1 plus 2, giving us 3. So 155 divided by 3 will give us 51.7%. So 
So on the Pearson Square, we are going to place the DCP that is required in the entire diet in the middle of the square. So for starters or for preparing starter feed, it means you are going to put 20%, which is the DCP required in the entire diet of starters, in the middle of the Pearson Square. And then at the top left hand corner, we are going to place the value for the weighted mean of the cereals. And then at the bottom left hand corner, we are going to place the weighted mean of the protein mix. So we are going to put 7.9 at the top and then we are going to place 51.7 at the bottom. So what we'll do next is we'll subtract the top and bottom values from the middle value, which is the total required DCP. So we are going to have 20 minus 7.9, which is going to give us 12.1. So this value is going to be put at the bottom right hand corner of the square and then we are going to have 20 minus 51.7 giving us 31.7 so this value is going to be put at the top right hand corner of the Pearson square following the arrows the direction of the arrows we'll put it at the top so this is going to give us a total of 31.7 plus 12.1 which will give us 43.8 so to find the percentage of the cereals, we are going to we are going to do this 31.7 over 43.8 times 100 percent that will give us 72.4 and then we are going to do the same for the protein mix which will be 12.1 over 43.8 times 100 percent and that is going to give us 27.6 percent so these two percentages are going to be shared equally for the different types of cereals and then the different types of protein feeds that we are going to mix together. So taking the percentage for the cereals, we have 72.4%. So we are going to share this in the ratio of the maize and the maize bran, which is 3 is to 1. So for the maize, we are going to have 3 over the total ratio, which is 4, times 72.4, which will give us 54.3%. And then for the maize bran, we are going to have 1 over 4 times 72.4%, which is going to give us 18.1% of the maize bran. Now moving on to the protein mix, which is fish meal and soya beans in the ratio of 2 is to 1. For soya beans, we are going to have 1 over 3 times 27.6%, which is going to give us 9.2%. And then... For the fish meal, we are going to have 2 over 3 times 27.6%, which is going to give us 18.4%. So this means that to prepare starter's feed, having maize to maize bran in a ratio of 3 is to 1, and then having fish meal is to soya beans in a ratio of 2 is to 1, it means that we'll be needing... 54.3% of maize, 27.6% of maize bran, 18.4% of fish, and then 9.2% of soya beans. So to do similar calculations for making grower feed using this PSN square, the only thing that is going to change is the DCP. Because the DCP, which is the digestible crude protein for growers, is 18%. So that means that in the middle of the Pearson square, we're going to put 18% there. At the top left-hand corner, we're going to put 7.9%. At the bottom left-hand corner, we're going to put 51.7%. And then we're going to make the following deductions, which is 18 minus 7.9 and then 18 minus 51.7, which is going to give us 33.7 at the top right-hand corner and then 10.1 at the bottom right-hand corner. So from this Pearson square for growers, we realize that we require a ratio of 33.7 parts of cereals to 10.1 parts of the protein mix. So adding this, the ratio, we have 33.7 plus 10.1, giving us 43.8. So to find the percentage for cereals, we are going to have 33.7 over 43.8 times 100, which is going to give us 76.9 and then to find the percentage of the protein mix we are going to have 10.1 over 43.8 times 100 which is going to give us 23.1 percent so let's take the cereals to find for the percentage of maize and then maize bran individually 
So for the maize, we are going to have three portions. So three over the total ratio of four times 26.9, which is going to give us 57.7. And then for the maize brand, we are going to have one over four times 76.9, which is going to give us 19.2%. So moving on to the protein mix, for soya beans, we are going to have one over three times 23.1%, which is going to give us 7.7%. And then for the fish meal, we are going to have two over three times 23.1%, which is going to give us 15.4%. So this means that to prepare any kilogram of growers feed, we are going to need 57.7% of maize, 19.2% of maize bran, 7.7% of soya beans, and 15.4% of fish meal. So now moving on to the Pearson square for layers, the only thing that is going to change is the DCP for layers. That is the digestible crude protein, which is 16%. So we are going to place 16% in the middle of the square. And then at our top left hand corner, we're going to have 7.9. And then at the bottom left hand corner, we're going to have 51.7. So we are going to have 16 minus 7.9 and then 16 minus 51.7. Then the values, which are the results of these subtractions, will be at the top right hand corner and the left right hand corner. So at the top right hand corner, we are going to have 35.7. And then at the bottom right hand corner, we are going to have 8.1. So adding these two values, we have 35.7 plus 8.1, which is going to give us 43.8. So this is to say that we require a ratio of 35.7 parts of cereals to 8.1 parts of the protein mix. So let's calculate the percentage for the cereals. We are going to have 35.7 over 43.8 times 100 which is going to give us 81.5 and then for the protein mix we are going to have 8.1 over 43.8 times 100 percent which is going to give us 18.5 percent so let's take the percentage for the cereals which is 81.5 percent so we have made to be 3 over 4 times 81.5 which will give us 61.1%. And then for maize bran, we have 1 over 4 times 81.5, which is going to give us 20.4%. So moving on to the protein mix, we have the percentage for protein mix to be 18.5%. So now for soya beans, we are going to have 1 over 3 times 18.5%, which is going to give us 6.2%. And then for fish meal, we are going to have 2 over 3 times 18.5%, which is going to give us 12.3%. This means that to prepare any kilogram of layer feed, we are going to need 61.6% of maize, 20.4% of maize bran, 12.3% of fish meal, and 6.2% of soya beans. So based on the percentages of the various cereals and then protein feeds needed in order to make feed for chickens we are going to learn how to make feed for 200 chickens throughout their lifetime from the starters to growers and then to layers stage so we are going to learn how to make those um those feeds because from our previous video we learned that two um 200 chickens will consume 200 kg of feed at the starter stage They'll consume 1 to 6 0 kg of feed at the, at the grower stage and they'll consume 5 9 1 6 kg of feed during the layer stage. So we are going to learn how to mix these feeds for them in our next video. So stay tuned. So if you have watched this video up to this very point and then the information was good, kindly give us a thumbs up and then if you have any comments, or maybe you didn't get any explanation or something, kindly leave a comment down below and then I'm going to reply to them. Thank you all and thanks for coming today. Bye-bye.